Jeff, Caroline, hello. And you thought I probably went away, didn't you? You thought that I was stopping watching your videos. Um, I'm having to do this from work because my computer at home is a dinosaur and the hard drive is crashing. Um, I think it's God that's crashing my hard drive. Just curious. Um, but I wanted to, to respond to this. Now, <clears throat> I watched the, some of the 40-day the fast thing. Um, <laughs> And I find it interesting <clears throat> that you are maintaining that your faith did this for you. Here's the thing. It doesn't take faith to live for 40 days on protein shakes and juice and broth. Because you're essentially not depriving your body of anything. Now, I applaud your, your weight loss as being kind of a big guy myself. I think that's cool. You know, you're trying to get healthy. You flush yourself out. You, you took what I think is, uh, well, what I know is a, a standard detoxification route. Um, and it does work. But it has nothing to do with faith, and it doesn't actually diminish your strength or, or cause fatigue, because you're still giving your body the things that it needs to, to run. So, and I don't know if uh, people are going to be stupid enough to, to put $100,000 on to do it again. Um, but Jeff, it's not faith, man. It's just willpower. Now, if you're saying you don't have willpower and you had to pray to, uh, to not eat a hamburger, um, is that really an effective use of your prayer time? Do you really think that you're preaching to people? Come on, Jeff. Um, you'll notice my tone is a little more subdued because I am at work and I, I don't share my office with anybody. I want you to, to see. I got my own space, but <clears throat> I guess maybe being here will at least <coughs> have the effect of making it, making me seem a little more polite than maybe I actually am, and also can't smoke in my office because this is a, a state building and, you know, universities, things like that. Um, but I just would, uh, so that, that's just what I want to say. I want to tell you that I'm, that I'm still here and I'm still watching and uh, you still can't respond to me in a way that is uh, intellectually or, or even uh, emotionally or faithfully legitimate. Because here's the thing that I actually think. Here's the other side. I used to think that you were just a liar and a hypocrite. Um, I don't think that so much anymore, but I do think that, that, that uh, well, I, do, I still think that. But uh, I think that, that you are a liar and a hypocrite because what you are essentially doing is you are trying to use a ministry to sell your wife's CDs. Now, there's nothing wrong with the musician trying to sell their work. I, I applaud her attempts at that, and, and I hope, you know, for her sake, that it's, it's successful. I, I don't necessarily care for it myself, but, it, you know, music, you know, people have different tastes. So, but that's okay. Here's the thing. It's dishonest of you to, uh, to call yourself a not-for-profit. I'm assuming that, that all the, the money that from the CD sales goes back into the not-for-profit, assuming that you don't pocket that. Um, but it, it's just dishonest because you're still not being a minister to anybody. You're, now you're trying to get people pissed off enough to bet $100,000 on you to live on protein shakes for 40 days. Um, come on. Certainly... These people who who are saying this, Tommy, I don't I, I don't know that much about him. I've watched some of his videos. He seems like a, a pretty smart guy, um, but certainly he's not going to fall for this crap. And you trying to you know corner people into proving what exactly? I don't know. Um, all it does is make you look like a pandering idiot. So don't. Um, but but I, I look forward to. Anything you have to say to me, because not that I think you'll actually respond, but uh, I haven't gone anywhere. I just had to change my location. And, uh, and I'm still waiting for you to actually say something to me that is not an insult or uh, an attempt at patronizing me. Um, and still looking for an answer to my original question that, that you have yet to answer. So, uh, bye Jeff, bye Caroline. I'll be talking to you real soon.